Good morning. 6 a.m. 4 more days. It's Monday. Weigh-ins are on Thursday, competition Friday. I'm ready to do the dang thing. My plan was actually to come in, train my client, do my cardio afterwards, but just can't really sleep at this point. So here I am getting it done before he gets here. Uh, but we're getting it done. Uh, and you notice I'm not in the stair mill. And so that's, I haven't had any cardio. Coach told me not to do any cardio the past two days. Um, so uh, we're really trying to let the, the legs look refreshed and recovered. So he added 30 minutes back in today, but light cardio. Just uh, gonna do a nice little walk here on the treadmill. Nothing intense. And um, get a good sweat going, burn some calories, but not wear out the legs. We wanna be as recovered as possible leading into the show. So game plan for today. First of all, sorry I didn't record much of yesterday at all. I planned on it, I actually started in the morning and then I just was beat. So and we didn't, I didn't really do much all day anyways. Diet was the same as the previous day. So I did get some clips of the workout. So I'll throw those up. Um, it was my final heavy back day. Um, a lot of uh, more for the upper back thickness, rows, stuff like that. So we did start with like a lap pull down and uh, still went decently heavy on that. I would use the stack, but then on the chest supported T-bar row, we definitely backed off. Um, there was no point in trying to go for any kind of crazy heavy. And even on the drop set, I didn't go to absolute failure. Um, just no point in it that at this point this close to the show so and doing it the way i did it where i got five really good reps with the heaviest weight i went to dropped it down five more really good reps and then dropped it down to something pretty light and got 10 reps i was able to feel the contraction and feel the squeeze uh in the muscle a lot better than if i had just tried to go to failure with the heavy stuff so we did that um, did a couple more uh, row variations, cable row, a uh, hammer strength high row, and a hammer strength uh, low row. And that was pretty much it. Um, we did do a drop set on the cable row as well, but that was the only other drop set we did. Energy was pretty low, but we pushed through it, gave it everything we had, and time to do it again today. So. Here we are. Uh, today will be the final heavy chest day. And then pretty much after today, it's kind of more pump workouts till weigh-ins. Tomorrow we'll do a arms and shoulders, which would typically be leg day. But since we're not gonna train legs the week of the show, um, it'll be arms and shoulders together. And then Wednesday will be my last day working out before the show and I'll do like a push pull type thing full upper body just you know pump so that's the game plan and uh, I'm pumped I'm ready I'm excited I know I'm bringing my best uh, and I think I said in the last video this has been one of the the best preps I've had, even though I've had my good days and bad days. But even like my cravings, usually, if you've probably watched some videos in the past, older videos, you know, I love my food. I love to eat. And uh, I usually get some really crazy cravings throughout the whole prep. And it hasn't really hit me hard until these last like week and a half, two weeks. The cravings have started finally really hitting hard but 
when you're this close to the show, it doesn't even matter. Like, you've been dedicated 100% pushing yourself, suffering for 16 weeks. If you can't make it through one more week, two more weeks, without cheating on your diet, and you should be more motivated than ever those last week or two to stick to everything, do whatever's necessary, because you've put so much work into it already. So that's how I am right now. I, I know how much work I've already put into this. So if coach told me to eat nothing but egg whites and tilapia till the show, it is what it is. That's what I would do, you know? And that's almost what I'm gonna do. Because uh, the yesterday, day before, diet hasn't changed. But today, no more rice. So the only carbs I get all day today is my Broku loaf with the cup of oatmeal and the blueberries. And after that, protein and veggies. Protein and veggies. That's it. So, whoo, it's gonna be a fun one today. We definitely ain't sent no PRs in here, but I'm still gonna give it everything I got. Uh, and we're gonna try our best to have a good day. You know, four days out. This is not the time to stress about anything. All the work's done, and we just gotta put on the, the icing on the cake, so to speak. And I want some cake. So, actually I want cookies. Some cookies, some brownies, some burgers and pizza. Now I got the food cravings. <laughs> but, like I said, I'm too motivated and excited to bring my best. And uh, this is gonna be a great, great show. There's a lot of great competitors and I'm just excited to get up there and show my best alongside their best and uh, see what the world thinks, see what the judges think and uh, hopefully get a win, hopefully shock some people. Even if I don't get a win, sometimes in the past I've gotten second or third and it uh, shocked people more than anything and kind of had more people talking about me getting second or third than if I had won probably because, you know, they felt I should have won or they didn't see me coming at all. Like New York Pro last year where I got second and they're like, where did this guy come from? So all you can do is bring your best and that's my plan, that's the goal. We're already there. I just gotta not screw anything up these last few days coach is pushing me hard and uh, I'm all for it I'm all for it because whatever it takes I told him that too I was like coach bring me in at my best whatever it takes I'll do it so we're coming for it and uh, I appreciate you guys following, following along with the journey because it has been a journey. We got a couple more shows to do after this, this year. And then I keep getting a lot of messages asking if I'm gonna move up to the open division from 212. And uh, I think that's all gonna depend on how I do this year. Because I am one of the taller guys in the 212 division. My body does seem to wanna just keep growing, but I do feel also that I might need to take an entire year off from the stage to actually move up to the open and do well. And it's really hard for me to do that. I'm not good at taking time off from the stage. So it's a big decision that I'm gonna think about later on. So right now, 100% focused on these upcoming shows, bringing my best, beating my best, and making it back to the Olympia. So, whew. I'm gonna finish this up, train my client. If I have the energy, walk the bridge with him afterwards 
And uh, then we got a kind of busy day. Uh, going to the chiropractor for one last time for uh, just some e stem and some cryo. Not getting any grass in or cupping done this time. Uh, just some e stem will help kind of flush any toxins and uh, lactic acid and stuff out of the muscle, make sure they're fully recovered. And then the cryo helps recovery as well, but also bring down a lot of inflammation, helps kind of boost your metabolism a little bit, everything. So it's like taking an ice bath without the harsh ice water against your skin. So it's not harsh on the skin, but it gets you all the same benefits. Anyways, I'm gonna get this done. And uh, like I said, the diet's the same as it's been minus the rice in my pre-workout meal. So, might show you a couple things here and there, but I'm not gonna bore you with my entire day of eating because it's the same as last time. Um, minus the rice again. But we'll be okay. We're gonna get freaking saran wrap skin, freaking peeled to the bone. Coach said skinless, that's what we're going for. I'm going to stop rambling on now and finish this cardio. See you guys later. All right. Getting the bridge walk in. Beautiful morning, actually. Loud vehicles. <laughs> but getting it done. A little extra steps before we go home and eat breakfast. Get on with the day, starving, and whew, we're almost there though. Luckily, I got my motivation. Got my mom, got my client walking. Stan, the man, always making me get out of bed at 5 a.m. <laughs> but uh, we're getting it done. And uh, honestly, they've kind of pushed me on the days that I don't want to do this walk because I'm exhausted to still get my butt out here and do it. So, whoo, almost there. Ready to get this done and go eat breakfast. Breakfast time, I'm starving. Three whole eggs, mushrooms, banana peppers. You know I got my broku loaf. Same as always. This meal, luckily, since it's Mike, my, my favorite meal of the day has not changed this entire prep. So I'm going to get this down and then we're going to go, I might mow the yard because I'm going to be gone for a while and it's already getting kind of bad. So I'm going to try and at least get the front yard mowed, but then I got a last chiropractor appointment at noon. So got to do that. Got to go pick up some stuff that I forgot at the grocery store and stuff like that and uh, start packing. So we're almost there. It's almost time, I'm gonna start packing. I figure if I start packing today, tomorrow, maybe I'll remember half the stuff I forgot and then we'll be good to go early Wednesday morning. So that's the plan, I'm starving. I'm gonna get this down. I'll see if I can get some footage of uh, what we got going on at the chiropractor today, just to show you the finishing touches of what we do. And then uh, last chest workout of the, of the prep. So, we'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. Meal two, chicken and spinach. Ashley's getting, uh, finally getting worked on by Dr. Lamana here. Hi. Who's gonna work on me for the final session of this prep right afterwards, and then some cryo. Ashley needs this bad though. Her back has been really giving her some pain, so. I think her hips were out of alignment probably. So hopefully she feels better after this and start can finish killing her prep. I'm gonna get this down. Feel free to explain stuff if you want to. <laughs> and that patechia is natural, right? Yeah, petechiae is a natural occurrence when you're breaking down some scar tissue and myofascial adhesions. So you'll get you'll get some of that petechiae, which is normal. But our goal today isn't really to create a lot of that. 
it's really just to separate each of these muscles that you see so we get nice separation and reduce the adhesions between each one so he has a nice symmetrical look all right on stage here just to kind of separate off the paraspinal I get so I can open my back as wide oh, as possible yeah. all right get that blood flow wide is the goal <laughs> <laughs> as wide as possible why is so wide I can put a shadow on all the other competitors? <laughs> so wide you knock the guy out next to you. <laughs> <laughs> All the details. That's right. Get those teardrops. Legs are the funnest thing to detail. <laughs> Into the, you see the I'm not sending you any more cookies, but this week's job is kind of nice. He's over here showing me cookies while I'm laying here. <laughs> You're welcome. How do you get through the For one, like session? I haven't already <laughs> seen it. Are you, are you going to stage and look at it for me? <laughs> me? And just come up to you with a big yeah. tool and break it up to make it perfect? I don't think be the be so secret well weapon. <laughs> no, I'll take spray tan off. <laughs> I don't think you want me to do it. All right, I'm going to start. All right. There you go. Are we good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Time to freeze. You're getting it cold. Most people don't even know that they do that. <laughs> They're not like, what? That's what it didn't look like you did. Yeah. You just told me right. like, right. Love it. All right. Yeah. Then. Stop there. Time to get a on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Ooh. Freeze. 